Welcome back to Shadow Tale Part 4. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm enjoying this or not, but, um... Where did we last leave off? Oh, right. Where's the car protection squad at? Because I'm gonna get triggered, and if you're in the car protection squad, then so are you. Let's get to it, and Jesus, this is long. This video includes... Yeah. <sighs> Wait, thoughts of suicide. Yeah, I... You know, when I made my... When I made my thoughts on Doki Doki Literature Club, a friend of mine on Roblox, I told him not to view it and that I gave a clear warning at the start of the video. He watched it and he regretted it. I know you're... No, that's not... That is not... That is not... <sighs> Believe what? I know this is the player, um, also once again, the video is silenced, I'm not taking any risks, no copyright. You say I'm not taking any time with freaks like you when you're stuck with them? That's how Kara works. You know, I want to swear so badly right now, but I'm not going to, so... Let me try to moderate what I'm about to say. To those of you out there who think Kara is evil, <sighs> if Kara is evil, well, why would she try to free monster kind if she's fridging evil? Suicide. Reminds me of The Walking Dead in season one when there's just a ton of... Like, the scientist talks about people who opted out. Which is my preferable term over saying suicide as well. And also reminds me of Sayori. A poor cinnamon bun. Yet, how is San supposed to do anything? Honestly, you could, he can only damage you if you absolutely deserve to be hurt. Otherwise, he's practically pinching you. And, he, once again, he is fragile. You could throw a pebble at it, well, if you throw the pebble hard enough, then he can die. <sighs> wah wah sob sob <laughs> so <laughs> assumingly Frisk has been with Kara for a while now and also assumingly Kara just wants them to do nothing but kill and Frisk doesn't want to kill, and um, just by being called names after, and then Kara left, quote unquote Kara, Frisk is supposed to just want to opt out. <sighs> That's Metaton. He has a headpiece. A cape. Um. Legs are nice. Um. Is it just me, or is Metaton secretly Gaster? There's stars in his hair. I mean, Metaton does have hair. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty valid question. Sansy, darling. What? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can can we no. No. Quote unquote traps. The only trap I really ever got caught remember is the spaghetti. Hmm. Maybe Sansa's paper thing was a trap as well as a puzzle. Actually, now that I think about it, quite a few of those things could have been traps. To see and I quote, if the human be... <clears throat> yeah. A valid question. Speaking of Alphys, what's she going to look like? Or is she going to make an appearance? Uh, <laughs> I don't think Undyne would ever be angry at Alphys. Because that's how she looks right now. Or am I misinterpreting this? Um, let me remind you that she ran from her burning house all the way to Papyrus' house in a matter of seconds. Just by... Giving a phone call? Actually, if that is the case, then... Hmm. Even if you do want to commit su <clears throat> Opt out, how would you do that? <sighs> At least that's censored. Yes, you're a boy stuffed inside a female's body. I don't understand how transgender works, but I don't want an explanation. <laughs> you are a disappointment. You are an embarrassment to spies everywhere. Even if you do kill yourself, you do realize you can just reset or stay determined. That's how this works. No, I pre-recorded this yesterday. As if I was going to make four videos in one day. Maybe I will do that someday. Was Frisk supposed to address you there? You realize that Frisk doesn't wait. Oh my god, they didn't talk to me. They just walked away. Now I have to go see why this is wrong. And see if they're okay. This is so dramatic. Probably not. I, I, I've just proven wrong in a matter of seconds. Also, I always stutter with my sentences. What? What trail? Also, I seriously doubt your eyes can see into the that sink. I mean, maybe they can, but... Are you looking into a trash can?
What the? Why do you even have that? You're skeletons. You don't have mustaches. Where'd you... Why do you have a razor and where did you get that? You realize they can just, they can just undo what they've done? Suddenly, just, I saw that. It shrank. Oh, this is another musical scene, isn't it? Or is it switching scenes? I swear, this is a musical scene. You could have walked the few feet as opposed to teleporting. And again, he's lazy. Would you have, how did you not see that on their way out? Or were they covering that, hiding that? If they wanted to kill themselves, why would they give themselves cuts on the arm? <sighs> Could have sworn that was a musical scene just because it flashed. I stand corrected. Also, didn't Undyne run to Hotlands? I'm guessing she returned. The human. Why do you have a razor? Oh, wait, the sleeves. The sleeves. Again, if you want to kill yourself, why cut your arm? And how would a razor do that? I mean... You know, there I have... Very, very tiny hairs right above my mouth. I don't really want a mustache. Probably just going to take some scissors to it. So doesn't Papyrus speak in all capitals? At least his personality seems more or less the same. <sighs> Does Undyne have a phone? Because... <laughs> Actually, that's debatable. Snowden. Snowden. I will check around Snowden. With Alphys. Yay, we get to see Alphys. That's Alphys. Huh. <laughs> well, it's a different lab coat. She has hair. I mean, what did she? I'm, I'm going to assume. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Alphys has hair in Undertale. Um, does 
I'm I'm just going to make the instant assumption that everyone in Shadow Tail has purplish blackish hair or dark blue. Wow. No, what? Is the human standing at the edge of the cliff at the trash land? Better call a nine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's convenient that you have cameras on that location. And it's also convenient that they won't jump by the time someone arrives. How did Undyne teleport, or did he do that? I'm going to assume he did that. <laughs> yes, that's my best way of clapping. But, um, one, you're in the middle of land, sticking out of the middle of what exactly? This is also not a trashy place, and there are skies and... Mountains. I mean, feels like I have to call out every illogical thing. No, no, no. Song moment. Well, if, there, if, if this is going to be singing, then I'm probably just going to... Hmm. Yep, singing. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to say. I want to talk, but I don't know what to talk about. <clears throat> Honestly, some things in the world and on the internet just aren't for me. Um, <laughs> some things are, but sometimes I'll see something I regret. And honestly, this scene just feels dramatic. Very dramatic. Also, I heard this scene gets glitchy, so... <sighs> you know... I... Actually, no, I'll keep that to myself. Unless you want to hear. <clears throat> Hmm. Ever think about what happens after death? Ever wonder what it's like? <laughs> I just have quite a few ideas on what happens. To either just lose all train of thought, forget everything you've ever learned, to stop thinking, feeling, seeing, and just be stuck in a void where you can't feel think, see, or do anything. Or maybe to just forget everything and start anew to a new life. Or to burn in despair for all the bad things you've done. Honestly, I wouldn't want to forget everything I've learned. <laughs> Ever wonder what heaven is like? I imagine it's a world of clouds where the people who have died are there and the people you have met in your fantasy worlds they are there too you can do almost anything for fun and you never get bored of it no matter how many times you do it that's how I would want it 
Reminds me of Scout's trip to heaven, only for God to decide, Okay, go back down there and make saxophone with all the women. <laughs> or something to that effect. I think the song is over. That's convenient type. Nope. Again, I don't really like sing songs, so just it's kind of why I'm uh, ignoring this. Listen to me. I'm going to assume every time the screen is just flashing, there's just singing going on, so... Yeah, Sans, you, you can't even fix my problems, alright? You, you can't fix my problems. Can't change what already exists. I mean, unless of course you could bend the physics of reality. Do you believe in magic? Yeah, seriously, it's not the quality of the video. The dialogue itself is glitching. And the screen and the textures on the characters. <clears throat> Even if you're just here to sing an inspiring song and supposedly get Frisk to, to not jump, it doesn't change the fact that the player's still there to just make them more depressed. And still, though, with Kara. Um. <clears throat> what can I say? Other than, of course, she is not evil and she's not weak. You know, my dad told me, don't be caught in an echo chamber. Don't just <clears throat> believe what you want to believe and hear what you want to hear. Expose yourself to new ideas. Honestly, I feel personally attacked. And who knows? He does watch my videos, so maybe he's listening right now. Maybe he's going to discuss this with me as I have a glass of milk before I go to bed. Honestly, I don't have much else to do these days, so why not talk about my life? Because I can relate to so many people and so many fictional characters. You know... If a por if there was a portal in my closet and Toriel walked out of it right now and asked me to come with her into Undertale, I would say yes and I'd go. <sighs> I mean, I basically get the situation. Frisk just spent the last few minutes saying how sad they are and they just want to give up. And San just said they'll help them, yada yada. Uh, except in the form of singing. I mean... Yes, except the rest of them just stood there. Also, what was stopping you from warping Frisk away and then talking to them? They could have jumped earlier if they chose not to listen to you. Or alternatively, you could just... Bandage your wrists. Or alternatively, you could just blue soul them so that their gravity is shifted and they can't... Um... Go... Down? Um, do I... Huh. Um...
Oh, come on. Yeah, we never hear about Frisk's real parents, or Kara's for that matter. I just like to ignore history and say, the Dreamer family is Kara's family. <sighs> can, can we not discuss that? <laughs> but they just did. You just... For a second, it looks like you just yelled at them. Also, there's something else wrong. There's something so, so illegal here that I finally noticed. Sans is tall. Taller than Undyne. Taller than Papyrus. Well, maybe Undyne's taller. Also, is it just me or does Papyrus somewhat look like a girl? Also, Frisk is the only one with the name right now. Also, why do you have a first aid kit? Don't monsters do, like, healing? Like, because they have magic? They don't have much physicality, so... Then again, Undyne did put an eye patch over her eye, so... Apparently. Why? You know, at this point, should I really even be questioning anything? Storyline isn't supposed to 100% align with um, normal Undertale. And there's, like literally every other universe, variations in the characters. Especially Kara. Always Kara. Yes, because Alphys stalks you everywhere. And everyone is fine with Alphys having cameras to stalk. <clears throat> Feels like my throat's on fire. Talk about what? Also, I don't trust you with those red eyes. Then again, I can't just assume everything involving red means evil. Also, another illegal thing. Frisk is opening their eyes. <sighs> um, thank you. Have that backwards. Not gonna say no one else was talking to you. Not gonna mention someone else is behind all this. Kara's the only person you're gonna talk to this about. Talk about to the... No, that, that's not right either. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So far I've seen a bit more dialogue than action, but then again, story is practically nothing without dialogue. Wait a second. 
Eh, forget it. Hmm. You know, I don't hear voices in my head, but feels like every time I try to talk to someone, I just feel discouraged. Even if they say they're on my side. Huh. Did you did you not see that just now, Undyne? Well, the difference being one is a job and the other is a mental sickness. Yep. Yeah. We're just going to make the assumption everyone is going to believe Kara is evil now. Does Frisk really believe it's Kara who's evil? Still, though, you say you didn't make Kara the villain, yet still treat her like she's evil. Do you acknowledge... She isn't evil? Because if so, I fail to see that. Again, where's my Kara protection squad? No, no, negati no negativity towards Kara. You do not have my permission to treat her horribly. <sighs> well. I don't know what to say, but... See you in the next video.